we are getting my life together. That's what this vlog is. I'm gonna be vlogging over the next couple of weeks around there and we're just gonna get our life together, you know? Do stuff that gets us ready for school. So here's the action plan. Okay, so here's the action plan. I want to get my life back into routine, back into order, and that includes feeling like myself again, um, working out again, or not working out again, but working out more in routine. I feel like over the summer, if I worked out, it was very just kind of like, oh, I'm gonna work out today. Oh, I'm gonna work out today. And it wasn't really on a schedule, which I like it better on a schedule. And you also see better results when you work out on a schedule. So we're doing that. Um, another thing that I wanna do is clean up my space and my environment because I do a lot of online school and I can't necessarily expect myself to focus or do well when my environment is cluttered or messy or just not doing well. So we're gonna organize things, clean up things. I have a pretty good like foundation of organization and just where everything is, but I do want to just kind of clean it up, you know? <laughs> so that's the plan. I also want to do laundry. So I have a load in the wash right now because I've been traveling a lot. So I've been falling a little bit behind on laundry, not bad, but I just feel like I'm always like in a hurry. So we're establishing that kind of routine also. I am also just, I feel like I've been so out of routine. And if you're anything like me where you thrive in routine, you thrive in having things organized and written out, you'll completely understand how important this video is and doing all this is for me because I need routine. So we started off with a small to-do list, getting back to the basics of things that just says things that I have to do today, like I want to work out, which is why I'm in workout clothes. Anybody else feel like this looks kind of like 80s or something I don't know anyways um I'd want to do a bible study which I already did this morning which I've loved being able to introduce into my routine lately and actually do it from a place of hunger and wanting to know God's word rather than just feeling like it's a chore so I'll probably do a video on these things I'm kind of just thinking out loud right now so bear with me um I have a game night that I'm going to tonight Last little summer things are coming to an end and it's so sad, but it's okay, it's all good. Um, we have quite a busy, hectic couple of weeks ahead of us, but we're gonna do it. So this is also your encouragement to get stuff done, get into routine, you can do it. So shall we? Let's get into it. <laughs> okay, so I just got out of the shower, hence why my hair is wet. Um, I. As I mentioned earlier, I'm going to a game night tonight, but I thought I'd up you, up you, that's not a thing, update you on what I've done so far today. So I did a lot of laundry. I have one more load that's in the dryer. I cleaned up my desk area, cleared off the top of it, got my backpack stuff ready. I don't go often on campus, but I am planning. One of my goals is to actually like go do school somewhere else. So I set up my backpack so it's easier and I don't really have an excuse to not go somewhere. Rather it's a library, a coffee shop, um, at a park even while the weather's nice, whatever it may be. I wanna give myself the opportunity to go and do stuff. So yeah, currently today has been super simple. Just the simple basic little things. Uh, showering, getting ready, cleaning, laundry, working out, things like that. But I. So now it is time to go check on my little sister's puppy because she's not a puppy and she's not home right now. So I'm going to make sure she goes to the bathroom and all that. She's so cute though. I'll show you her in a minute. Yeah. Yeah. You're adorable. <laughs> Good morning. So I just woke up the first time I've talked out loud um I'm really tired <laughs> I feel bad because I messed up and I went on my phone pretty much first thing this morning and 
obviously that's not my goal because it's not summer and I need to break that habit. So did not do good today, but tomorrow I'll do better and it's fine. For, this is part of the process. You know, sometimes we mess up along the way. We're trying to get back into routine and habits and we have to uh, fix it. So learn from it, move on, do better next time. Anyways, it's like 9.20 right now. Um, I stayed up really late last night, so I think that's why my first reaction was to go on my phone because I didn't want to do anything. So, anyways, we're gonna get ready, you know, eat breakfast, um, get stuff together, maybe read for a little bit. I don't know, I need to do Bible time, and I have work today at, like, in the afternoon, so we're gonna go to work. Anyways, I'm so tired. Okay. <laughs> so we went to an estate sale before work. Um, well, before I had work. I got two books for $4. They're Nicholas Sparks, which I've actually never read Nicholas Sparks before. So I thought it'd be cool to like hear, or not hear, read and see what it's like. And if I don't like it, then I don't like it. Um, but I did also get a frame for $2 and it's so cute. So I'm excited to put this on one of my shelves so like a picture of friends or a family, whatever. My dog is so excited I'm home. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's so exciting. I also got a pot for a plant that has outgrown its home. So yeah, so excited. Just got back from work. It was a little bit crazy, but it's fine. Um, I'm about to go with my mom. We're gonna get our eyebrows done and fresh eyebrows for the new school year. Um, yeah, anyways, that's that. I'm really tired, but see you later. Hey guys, so as you can see, I am doing little devotional and I've been reading through Psalms lately in my bible and not that i really love psalms but i wanted to start also doing this devotional that i got a while back on habakkuk i could be saying it wrong um and i was just really curious because i feel like it's one of those books in the bibles that like you don't always hear about like people don't always mention them and like their sermons and messages or oh yeah i'm reading habakkuk like i was curious because i don't know really much about it at all and I wanted to learn so I started reading it uh I don't know how long this devotional goes for but I'm on week one day one um and I'm really enjoying it so far it's really it's interesting um I don't know much so I'm hoping to learn and I think something that's so cool about just opening up your Bible is like it's a learning process you're learning and that's something that's so great about it so yeah um I'll try to find this devotional and link it down below this was a gift so I don't have a link or where they got it but I'll try to find one online it's by Hosanna Revival and it's just so cute too so yeah and it's got really pretty layouts and there's like questions that you can fill out and I don't know it's really great so I'm excited I'm still reading Psalms I'm just reading Psalms and this. But yeah, that's my little Bible update. Um, another update is it's Saturday, so I'm not really doing a lot for prepping for school and stuff, but this is something that helps me prep emotionally for this transitioning back into school and work and stuff. Um, so it's part of my preparation, so I thought I'd share it with you. I also did my nails yesterday, so yeah. Anyways, um, I hope you guys are enjoying this video so far. <laughs> Okay guys, it's Monday, which means it is haircut day. And I'm very excited. I have a lot on my schedule today, but not none of it has to do with school preparation other than my hair. So I'm very excited because I have been wanting to cut my hair and it's been waiting so impatiently lately because I just want to cut it. So I'm so excited to go get it cut. Um, but anyways, you might tell that my nails are different than the last clip when I showed you my nails. And that is because I had those nails on for like 
four days. And then I was like, I can't put my contacts in with them on and I can't take them out. So I need to take them off, which I just buy the press on nails that are like six bucks. But anyway, so these are press on just, so you know, that's a little ramble. That's a little update. I'm excited to get my hair done. I will show you the end result, of course. And yeah. Anyways, look how long it's got though. I'm very proud of myself for getting my hair as long as I did. Um, my goal was this length actually, and I've been growing it out for about a year and a half, a couple years. But as you can see, like, look, there's pieces that are shorter and then the layers are just kind of, I don't know, growing out. So I figured it was time to cut it and let it grow healthy. So we're gonna choose the length when we get there. You guys ready to see what my hair looks like? The final result? Three, two, what? Short hair. I'm so excited guys. Like I feel in a weird way more like myself and I feel like I have been wanting short hair for so long and I finally have it. The interesting thing that I did was I've had short hair before, but I've never done like the face framing pieces like this. So these kind of fall out. But if you look, you'll see how this is all face framed and you can style it to like do that little like swoop thing, like that 90s style. Anyways, this is the hair. We did layers and I feel like my hair feels and looks thicker and just this is my natural hair color now no blonde at the bottom anymore so i'm very happy to have short hair and i'm loving it i love the feel of it i love everything just feels lighter all of a sudden so anyways that's the hair reveal okay on to the rest of this video <laughs> good morning i need a shower um and clean up my desk so that's what we're gonna do. I'll show you the desk. So after I shower, I'm gonna clean up this mess because we can't have a messy desk when we're trying to get ready for school. So yeah, let's fix that. Okay, I'm all ready now. Um, so it's time to clean up this desk. I'm gonna be completely honest, it's taking me a while to get used to myself with short hair just because I'm not 100% used to curling it shorter and stuff like that, which I thought it would go faster to curl it while it was short, but I feel like it took me longer because I was trying to like, I don't know, just I'm getting used to it. But anyways, we're gonna clean up all the stuff, get it ready so when school starts, I can come and sit. And this is a tip. If you do a lot of homework at home and you have a space that you typically do it, make sure that it's clean don't let it become a dump spot over the summer it really just became a spot where i just put stuff on it because i was never at my desk so we're gonna have to break that habit now i realize and we're just gonna fix it up make it look nice only keep stuff that is supposed to be on my desk on my desk and everything else will get put away or find a new spot for so let's get into it Desk is all clean now and I'm ready to go. Okay, so I am currently prepping more stuff for school, which means I'm going on to like my student portal thing and checking to see if my classes are all there. I'm also checking to see, I have to take like little quizzes in order to like unlock the assignments and stuff like that and get more details. So I'll probably take those little quizzes rather today or tomorrow um i'm also trying to figure out a class because i feel like one of the classes that i'm supposed to be taking this quarter is not on there so we're gonna figure that out and see what's going on but that's my little update hi guys so i got back from work a couple hours ago maybe um i have been sitting here now I ate and now I've been sitting here trying to figure out how to get a document sent to somebody so they can sign it also yeah a couple of the nails popped off today anyways um, trying to 
trying to see if there's a way that I could get um, signed via like an app or something. I'm looking at DocuSign, I'm looking at another one that I don't remember the name of. Um, trying to figure that out. I am really, really hoping that I can get it sent that way. That way that person doesn't have to just send it and get it print out. Um, we'll see what happens though. We'll get this to work. And I've been looking at my calendar trying to figure out what else I need to do before school starts and um sorry they're watching a movie so they're getting kind of loud or a video I don't know anyways that's that school is so much and it's not even school it's just prepping for school uh, it's okay we're fine we're gonna figure this out <laughs> I'm just like so overwhelmed right now but this is why we prep before because if I would have waited to do any of this stuff during the week of school, it would have been ridiculous. So, prep for school, guys. <laughs> hey guys, so I have finished filming a video, which I wanted to film a video also while I'm prepping for school because I have this video that I can upload and then I have the next one that all I need to do is edit it. So I'm not trying to get into the groove of school and worry about vlogging stuff and getting ready. So it's besides the point. I officially bought all the textbooks and books that I need for my first classes. If I haven't mentioned already, my school is split up by quarter type system, so each semester has session A and session B. So my session A classes are taken care of, and then towards the end of session A classes, I'll get started on working for my session B classes and making sure those textbooks are ordered. Um, but yeah, that's that. So things are going really good. and. I think this video should be wrapping up soon because pretty much everything is prepped and ready to go for school. Hey guys, so I have been prepping my calendar. So I go ahead and I put through everything that I need to do. So light purple is personal stuff, yellow is work, and then the dark purple is also work but working for a different thing. So I have them in two different colors so I don't get it confused. Um, and then I put my color theory class as, let me get this, my color theory class as dark purple, I mean dark blue, sorry, colors, man, <laughs> what, why couldn't I talk? <laughs> and then I put my digital layout and design class as this like sage green color. So things are in, I don't have all of my assignments in the Google calendar yet, but majority of it is there already. Okay, so I want to show you guys, sorry, I'm trying to close the drawer right here. I want to show you guys some things that I bought for back to school. I went ahead and I got the second generation Apple Pencil because I had ordered the first generation, which I didn't realize was the wrong one for my iPad. I have an iPad Pro if anyone's wondering. So I had to return it, luckily, get a refund and then get the second generation so we're ready to go for classes <laughs> and then i also was trying to find a tote bag but i didn't want like a regular tote bag for school because everything's just kind of loose in there i want to kind of like a nice organized one with pockets and you know like the fancy tote bag so i found this one on amazon it's so cute it has nothing in it so it's really flat right now but it also has this adjustable bigger handle and then it also has a smaller handle so you can just kind of carry it like this it also has a zipper the thing that i love the most about it is that it opens really wide so you can fit a lot in there and then on the inside i'll show you we have one pocket and then a zipper pocket on this side and it's really big in there like look how wide this opens up so i'm very excited because i can fit my ipad in here i can fit a notebook i can fit um, highlighters and all that I can you know fit my wallet and all that type of stuff in here which is perfect for school because I don't really need a lot especially now that I have an iPad but on days when I do need to take a lot with me this is perfect I was even thinking like this would be a great little not a carry-on but like a personal item for a flight if you just need to pack a little bit of things so anyways <laughs> that is that that's my little back to school haul i didn't really do like back to school shopping or like for clothes um i really only bought highlighters this the apple pencil and then i think there might be one more thing coming in the mail oh yeah two more things coming in the mail but they're just textbooks so nothing really 
exciting <laughs> but yeah so my textbook for one of my classes arrived and i'm very excited a little tip for buying textbooks is to buy them as a like second hand or used i find some there's options on amazon where you can go and click on other options such as used and they come from different stores sometimes but still get delivered through amazon those are really nice because they're typically cheaper if not by a lot at least by a little bit and in my opinion it all counts <laughs> Um, another tip is go online, see if you can find uh, cheaper versions or um, sometimes there's even like online ebook type style ones that work well too. So go ahead, check it online and check some local libraries, you never know. So I'm very excited. I got this one used and it's actually in really good shape. So I'm excited. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna wrap up this video here. Thank you for watching this school prepping vlog um, and coming along on this little journey with me. I'm excited for all my school studying vlogs to come too. And I love you and I'll see you next time.